Hi guys and welcome to Angling View and we're joining the, th the third day in the pole journey and that's just me walking around trying to give you a little bit of happiness in a time of sorrow and this video is the map section and as you can see there's a plethora of map poles here we've got the M20, the C1 carp, the C2 carp, the 101, 201, 301, 401, 501, 601, 701, 8, 9 and 1001 and then finally the 10.2 meter 1001 margin. So as you can see quite a, a good selection and the question that I get asked so much about this is what's the difference? So today we'll try and show you what the difference is at least by after we've gone through this, I will change the camera and you can see the difference, certainly at 13 meters, and we'll, we'll go into what makes it different. Um, and hopefully that'll give you a little bit of a chance to understand it if you can't physically be there to test it, which I do suggest that you try and do. But if you can't and you're getting it delivered, at least you know um, so a little bit about it. We'll put underneath the package and the price underneath everything because there's no way I can remember all of them off the top of my head. So we'll give you the length, the price, and what the what the package comes with. Just remember, it's an average. Places might sell it cheaper, or some people, people might charge it more. Just this is just on the prices where we are now. <clears throat> so M20. So this is a margin-based pole and part of the competition uh, range. This is three uh, eight point seven meters. Um, really stiff, to be fair. If we compare it to the um, the MXT that we tested last, or MTX, sorry, that we tested from Matrix last week. Um, it's a similar sort of pole. I'd say it was stiffer than the Matrix, but I do feel the Matrix feels a little bit stronger. Um, I don't, I don't know if that's anything to do with the heavier materials I've made, and that's maybe why it's not as stiff. But it is still a stiff pole. Uh, is the Matrix, but that that's a lovely pole. Is the M20. I'm just going to put that one down there, and like I say, we're going to put, we're going to do it from a different angle, so you'll see the flex as well. So moving on to the cart poles. Now, generally, cart poles, and it's not always a written rule, they tend to be a little bit heavier, and that's due to the fact that they're going to be a little bit beefier, um, and they'll be able to bend a little bit more purely to cope with those big lunges and those big runs and those big elastics that we like to place through them um, to try and get these bigger carp out. So as you can imagine, when I pick this up, it, it has got a bit of sag and a bit of bounce. And before we turned it on, I, I picked the 2 and 101 up and they're a lot stiffer than this one is, um, which we'll get into when we turn the camera around. But um, it's totally fishable. Uh, but I, I mean, it, it wouldn't be an enjoyable experience in, in wind, I don't think. Um, and it, it's, you know, it's not, you're not really going to be at super length all the time. Um, but for me, uh, yeah, the, the the rest of them are more than capable of handling with the right kits, handling the same kind of fish, but it's up to you what you want to buy. But you go into this, the C2 and that's dramatically, believe it or not, different in regards to heaviness and um, response, which uh, again we'll see when we turn the camera around. But uh, they both look really nice as well. They've both got that nice sort of smooth finish. Um, and they've, they've got really striking graphics so they do look a nice looking pole and you know they, they'll come all these will come with sort of interchangeable sections so that the the top kits will the f1 shallow kits the white and black uh, and the other they've got the competition kits which go like the one two and the three and i think four and maybe even higher they'll all be interchangeable with these competition poles which is something to, to, to bear in mind um, whether if you've got a 1001 and you want to pick a, a 20 or 301 up to have as a spare pole the, your, your top kits are, and everything's going to be interchangeable which is good so moving on to the to the 101 competition 3G this is the first in the in the range of the competition range uh, that's um, not a cart pole or, or aimed at being a cart pole the, although they will handle anything like that this 101 um, is obviously the striking red graphics all, all got the si similar slip finish and um, this is just a 13 meter pole though um, as is the 201 we're going to pick up in a minute and to be fair it is it's not bad uh, it, it's you know it's what, I'm just having a look at price now 
So it's uh, 369, and that's with two puller kits and a match kit and a cupping kit and a mini extension. That's, that's pretty good, to be fair. If you're starting pole fishing and, you know, you just want to get into it or you, you're buying your kids a, a present for the birthday, you're not going to break the bank, um, you know, best part of under 400 quid, you're going to end up with a really decent little package there. Um, and so moving on to the 201, that's £100 more if you feel like you just want to have that little bit of extra. But to be fair, what, it is a marginally stiffer, but what I'm, you're pretty much getting for that extra £100 is an extra top, top kit. And to be honest, a map shallow kit, they're about 40 quid depending on which one you go for. Um, so you can save a little bit of money and go with a 101. But the 201, it, it, the feel, there's not much in it to be honest. It may be a very little bit slightly um, stiffer, but uh, marginal, marginal. Um, and going on to the 301, and these are all at 13 meters. Um, and you pick the 301 uh, and up and straight away, uh, it's not massively uh, lighter than the others, but it's definitely stiffer and, and the bounce is definitely less. Um, and again, the wonderful sort of finish and graphics on that look look fab. Uh, moving on to the 401, now this is where you're going to start going into that 14 and a half meter bracket. Um, and you know, that 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 is definitely stiffer, uh, a lot stiffer and a lot lighter than the than than the, so certainly the two and the 101 uh, and and marginally than the 301 uh, and and as, as you go up this range the reason for that is that the carbon will get better the quality of the carbon uh, will get better and the construction uh, of that how that's put together will be stronger for, for obviously the bigger poles uh, moving on to the 501 again the, 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 when you're going up one by one like i am it's going to be marginal indifference and it's going to be about what the package is, is worth but when you start to get up to 14 and a half 16 meter range it's what you the stiffness will ve will vary slightly um, and the bounce at 30 meters but what you're going to get is the when you add your extra sections on that's where the that's where you're going to get the overall stiffness and, and strength difference um so on to the 601 um and this is this is the one that most people are going to go for the 601 maybe the 501 but usually the 6 and 701 are the best sort of sellers uh, and, it, and it is a great pole stiff light and a lot of people are going to be fishing at 13 meters um, but as soon as even with this 14 and a half meter um, section on uh, even 16 it's going to be you know easily fishable and they do come with the dolly boats as well so that's going to give you a little bit of added comfort 701 you're just stepping it up again really responsive as you'd expect from from map and you know light uh, a lovely pole uh, and then this is where like i said to you before the packages are going to come in and it's going to come down to what you're getting with that package the, the, the between the six the seven and the eight the difference in in, in stiffness and lightness is not is marginal at best um and it'll come to when you add those like i say add those bigger sections on and depending what package you're looking for um i'm just going to switch round 901 right wise so as you'd imagine um we're getting in into the big money sort of category and you know as as the uh, the six seven and eight this one's you know responsive and stiff um and comes with a great package uh, lots of spares and uh, will essentially uh, if you look after it cover every sort of eventuality you're going to need if you feel like you want to spend a lot of money uh, we'll go on to sort of the um the 1001 and the, the, the 1001 is you know it's you know it's over the three grand mark it's it's a it's super stiff at, at 13 it's almost bizarre it feels like you've got nothing in your hand um and like you'd expect for that kind of of money it um it comes with quite a, a large amount of kit and like i say this is where the extras the 14 and a half the, the 16 meter sections are going to start to be lighter than than lower down in the range uh, moving on to this uh, the last one again not not a cheap bit of kit but if you're wanting something that's strong and stiff 
um, and you know this is 10.2 meters it, and this is the 1001 um, and this is the margin version um, and again this will interchange with your 1001 a lot of people will buy that in conjunction with the 1001 um, it just comes to how, how deep your pockets are and if you really need it for me I'm I, I'd be in that bracket of 601 to to 801 um, for everything that you're going to need unless you're a serious match fisher and you are fishing a lot of matches and you've got the money to do it so I'm just going to flip the camera around we'll have a look straight down the pole and see what they look like and then I can just give you a better view of, of what I'm seeing from my angle. Alright guys, I'm going to try and stay out of camera uh, shot as much as I can and look at starting with a margin pole again, the M20. I'm going to pick that up and just try to be gentle and lift that over. So like I said before, this bad boy is super, super light. Um, the response is good uh, and 8.7 metres is going to cover most of your margin fishing that you're going to get up to. Like I'd say, the only difference is I do it does feel strong, but I do feel that that um, uh, matrix pole that we that we tested on the last episode well, is just a little bit stronger. Um, but that's my opinion. Now, like I said before, the C1, the C2, you automatically f feel like they're going to be a little bit heavier. Carp poles tend to be um, just purely on 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 the the mandrel that they use, and they're trying to be a lot more flexible and stronger and uh, to have those big fish. I'm going to lift that up but straight away you can see that it is, is quite bouncy, the C1. I mean I wouldn't, it's, it, it, I wouldn't f want to fish with this if I'm honest. Uh, if I move it side to side you can see it, it's quite bouncy, it's, it's heavy. It's not, it's not unfishable at 13 metres, by no means a stretch of imagination. I've fished with worse poles in regards to heaviness but it, for me I'd stay away from that. I'd rather fish 201 or 101 than that. Um, but the, saying that, you go into the C2, which I've got in my hand now, and it's completely different. It, it's it's still not super light, but it's certainly more responsive than the C1. Um, and if that's what you're looking for, carp poles wise, then definitely spend the extra bit of cash and get the C2. But for me there's there's better carp poles on the market for example um the acrylite i think it's a great carp pole um th you know there's a lot of good carp poles out there the carp response uh, from preston is also really good um moving on to the the 101 like i said this is this go remember this this pole's like 370 quid and it's not bad at all you know i'd, I'd rather have that than that c1 any day of the week it's um it's you know it's it's, it's got a bit of bounce, but it's not bad. You know, it's it's quite light, and you know, I I would feel happy with fishing with that. No no problems whatsoever. And um, not no problems whatsoever. Um, let's get the two hundred one. I pick the two hundred one up, and again, you you're just starting to get that slightly more response. Again, it's not it's not light, and it's not super responsive. But a little bit more than the the one on very marginal. Like I said before, it's mainly just that extra kit that you get with that for its hundred quid. Um, Three oh one. Then you can see straight away. I mean, it's still got a little bit of bounce, but the response and lightness is definitely bigger and better than the uh, than the one oh one and two oh one. And then this is where things really change. Stepping up into the four oh one range. Now that is this one's a lot lighter. Um, it's still got a little bounce. Uh, but the response is a lot faster um, and certainly uh, moving into the 14 and a half meter range going to be a bit more uh, multi-use 501 this one again is where starting the bracket of pretty much where I would look to go between this is um, you know it's really good at 13 meters response is good quite light um, but this is where I'd be starting. Most people will start here, and, and, and this is not a bad package at all to go for. The 601, um, it's light, it's responsive, and there's not much bounce, not much sag in the pole at 13, certainly. Um, and, you know, just a great all rounder. And, like I said, with the, the 101 and 201, um, the 7 and the 801 is really 
it's more or less a similar stiffness and lightness um, you're going to get a little different package and it, you're going to find the difference in the 14 and after 16 meter sections that's where that's where the money is um, moving on to the 801 again a little bit stiffer but it's in those sections and that package is a great pole if you've got the money um, then I'd be personally go no higher than the 801 I just for me I can't see any point I can understand from my big matchmen and sort of people that are fishing 16 meters all the time but 801 will fish at 16 no problem and as soon as you pick the 901 and the 1001 up it's a different league um, instantly you can feel the stiffness um, and you know, obviously when you attach those bigger sections on you can definitely see the difference and then moving on to the 1001 um, and you, you know it's just it's like a poker I mean it really you can see just tapping the pole shaking it side to side it really is a stiff pole um, and, a, and an amazing bit of kit and moving on from that is the margin uh, pole of the 1001 and again that's light and um, we're looking at just sort of just over 10 meters um, and a lot of people will use this to interchange with that uh, 1001 put that one back what we'll do we just just flip that camera around and uh, we'll sign it off right guys um, hopefully that's been uh, helpful to you there's obviously quite a, a plethora of um, poles that they've got an offer from the map range there is some other uh, lower range ones and some different margin range ones as well that are available which we we haven't got next to us um, but it really comes down to how you, what you want to spend and what you feels right <clears throat> if, you, if, if you want to spend middle of the road uh, for me it'd be 601 all day uh, if you've got a little bit more money to spend it'd be 801 um, the 9 and 10 are amazing don't get me wrong and if you, you're fishing a lot of matches and you you, you know you're going to get your money's worth out of it then go for it I, I, I would say but for most average people 601 is the pole for me uh, in this range um, and the 801 if you've got that little bit of extra money to spend um, is, is, is where I would be um, there's no, absolutely nothing wrong with the 701 in between that um, absolutely nothing at all anything between 6 uh, even 5 upwards but mainly 6 to 8 upwards if you're wanting more 16 meter fishing then you want to be a, around your 7 or 801 if you're anything 14 and a half or lower um, and occasional 16 then go for your 601 and then if you've got your money go for your big boys but it, like I said all the packages have been put below um, just giving you a little bit of an idea um, of, of what's available I mean, obviously the interchangeable top kits as well so that helps you out the, the map F1 kits are phenomenal I use them on my, my browning pole as well so um, as I've been saying in all the other videos stay safe uh, work together um, and, and you know listen to what's going on and hopefully we keep bringing you these videos and uh, uh, we'll hopefully be back on that bank as fast as possible. Thanks a lot for the spot, guys. Sidelines.